Hey guys, what's going on? Luca Mundo here. We are on to a second episode of Dredge. Uh, I just went out, went some, did some fishing off camera, and now we are back. And I am happy to say that I did find some groupers, some black groupers. You find them at night. And so that fulfills that second uh, mission that we had there. I don't think you had it on you. Night fishing is a tall order. Oh, uh, he thought I couldn't do it. I've uh, been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture. I'm considering crabs. He's got a crab pot. Oh, fantastic. Now we've unlocked the ability to do crab pot hunting. We'll be able to get crabs. He's got a customer. He wants fiddle crabs and a common crab. Oh, fantastic. You know what? Let's go ahead and buy a couple more of these crates. Um, you, you know, I, I want to be able to catch as many as possible. Now, this one only has two days left to it. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the rest of the groupers. Let's go back here into the shipwright. And let's go ahead and repair all of my crab pots. There we go. All right. Let's get out and let's go a uh, crabbing. So first we can hold the E, we can go over to the crab pot, um, and then it will tell us, you know, uh, you'll need to repair it every so often, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and pop crab pot down right there. Uh, and then let's do one maybe over here, sure. And then let's do the, another, the, the last one in kind of some deeper water, maybe like right there. There we go. They all say plenty on it. Uh, now we're going to go back and we're going to sleep. That'll help us to uh, feel less exhausted. Ho, 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 look at what we got. So we're fishing just a standard mackerel spot and we found a grotesque mackerel. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. Now it's still fresh. I want to go back and sell this because I do believe the fisher guy is going to take extra like hit he'll comment about it there he'll say something about it um because this is a unique thing so let's go to the fishmonger um what is it today you had that you hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger he grins raking the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep stuttering breath <laughs> now this is a sort of specimen to liven up my day i wonder he runs his finger finally along the length of the fish as though feeling for something pushes and a small shape is against the bulging scales Slices the fish open, stomach pulls out a piece of fabric. <laughs> All right, a delicate handkerchief. Uh, well, I've never seen anything like that in all my days. No kidding, N me neither. Uh, it's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so uh, that is interesting. There it is, the handkerchief. Uh, very, very interesting. Ooh, a man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took from the fishmonger. I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it and i need to inspect it but not here meet me at the blackstone isle I have a business proposition for you great okay well why not let's let's go check it out okay workshop my storage and ruined mansion the man is standing in the doorway watching you approach he's holding an old book in crimson uh binding you came good allow me to introduce myself i am a collector of many things art blah 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 you have something for me huh interesting sean connery as a young man <laughs> you give the handkerchief to the collector he holds it up to the flickering light and studies it these patterns are unmistakable this handkerchief comes from an old ship it carries items from great importance as you can imagine retrieving them is proving to be challenging my proposition is this i'll outfit your vessel Ooh, for dredging nice uh, so you can find me the lost relics and reward you in ways beyond your imagining. You need to give up your fishing career. Oh, don't give up your fishing career. Got it. I accept, of course. So he spent some time outfitting my ship. The relics we're looking for are a ring, necklace, watch, music box, and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns. Okay, return when you have something. Ooh, mysterious. You know what? I love that. Oh, look at that. I've got that machine on the back now where, look at that, it wiggles too. Huh, that's super cool. Is there anything around his island? Is there like something to fish around his island by chance? This is n bad news. Bad news bears, right? Um, I need to get, ooh, ooh, I see something shimmering. So I know that at nighttime, some extra things go away go away go away go away go away please go away please go away please go away okay i'm near the light 
Oh, I'm near the light. Okay. Oh my goodness, what is that? Go away! Uh, what are those, what are those things? An anglerfish, right? Uh, what is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Maros where current carries its wreck. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from a patch of dark water. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's just, it's best to move on. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more later. Cool. Let's go to the builder. Ooh. You approach a woman sitting on a dockside, staring out to the she. She turns toward you. What's it like out there? Um, uh, creepy right at the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, it's got to be a sight better than this town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not. Come back. Uh, going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? Uh, it's not so bad here. She's gazing out at the sea again, lost in thought. Uh, say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. Ooh. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. Oh, fantastic. Stack it up at the Steel Point. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead. Let's, uh, oh, wow. Um, so I almost died there. I had two damage already. Yikes. Let's go to the dry dock. Let's, yes, yes, you can store whatever. Oh, not the dry dock, the, uh, shipwright. And we'll go ahead, um, so it says repair all or enter repair mode, so I'm gonna go to T, and I'm just click around and repair those two items just to see how repair mode works. Awesome. Let's go to the cabin. We've got these two books completed, and they're giving us some extra perks. Fantastic. All right, so we have two other things that we can do, Greater Maros and this island to the north. Uh, we don't need to go to the island to the north right now, Let's go ahead and rest because I know that my guy is uh, pretty creeped out at the moment. <laughs> we just got attacked by a giant fish that kind of went through the rocks, kind of a little bit creepy. Um, all right, let's go check this out. Oh, guys, we've got a crab. Fantastic. Okay, and so we've got a couple of things to dredge here, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and dredge. So hit F, 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 F. Okay, avoid the blank spaces. Got it. Uh, ooh, guys, nice. We've got a research part. Oh, that's what we were hoping for. Awesome. Ooh, some wood. Oh, fantastic. That was a really good haul. So that's how you dredge. Very similar to fishing. Uh, it's just dredging up pieces. So that's 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 how you do it. Uh, let's go here and let's keep fishing. Let's see, a trader. What does it? You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antique shelves full of jewelry and such. Uh, hello, is that? Oh, no, I don't believe we've met. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase stuff. Nice. If you got anything today. I I, I don't, so, okay. Uh, but good to know. Ooh, grieving father. What's this? Hello, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some time ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks all alone in the cold dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed. I was wondering, yeah, if you, uh, okay, if you have, right, and install, got it. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings, I think he'd feel more at peace. All right, he wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. Okay, so I'm looking for a bronze belt buckle. What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much, but I do remember the old mayor in the final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming, throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry. Interesting. All right, so we're back at the dry dock, and I'm trying to look. Do I want to do more engine parts or more rod spaces or a light space? I think I want to do more rod spaces, but it's going to cost a lot. It's two wood, which is okay. Um, let's see. We need a bolt of cloth and metal scraps. Okay. Okay. Um, so we can purchase upgrade after that spot uh, after that point. Let's go to the research guys And let's do this flexible rod. Oh fantastic Now we can go to the ship right and we can buy this Flexible rod which is gonna replace both of them. It's 50 plus on the fishing speed does coastal and shallows So I can pretty much uninstall these and sell them and we can just pop that there, and that's going to replace everything. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so much better. 
Um, what else do we have? A simple skimmer. Let's see. Those are the other two, and those are mine. I am thinking of one of these, right? Uh, uh, just a light. That'll help with seeing things at night a little clearer. Let's go ahead and rest. Whoa, we did it, guys. Look at that. A fiddler crab. Oh, fantastic. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll keep these crab pots going for one more day, but... Oh, that was really nice. Oh, and what did we get? We also got a Riddler flounder. It kind of looks like a sponge. Um, baggy skin perforated with countless cavities, a singular shapeless mass spread underneath. Interesting. Uh, we're getting all the specials today. Ooh, we found a worn gold ring. I don't think that that particular, uh, that particular item is a special item, but that still is something. Now, do you guys see this little glow right here? That means there is a special fish in here. Uh, right there, there it is, a many-eyed mackerel. Uh, very cool. Uh, so you want to be on the lookout for those because you can get these really unique fish from them. Pretty, pretty cool. I do need to be careful because the time is slowly waning. More cloth will take it. Uh, cloth is always going to be good. That'll go toward our uh, upgrade. That'll be great. Great. All right, the fishmonger. Have we got anything to complete that order? Yes, we do. There it is. $41 for that single crab. Uh, <laughs> These will do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more. I have one final request for you. And uh, have you seen some fish around here develop odd deformities? What do you think happens? Um, you know what? I bet you they'd go mad. Well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, any will do. Just keep this between you and us. Have you got any of those mutants with you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Remember, any aberrated, aberrant will suffice. Uh, I suspect they're all the same underneath. So I've got this, this guy. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest. Wringing his hands around his slimy body. Yes, this should be nice. Uh, here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take... I didn't even see the cost, but I'm pretty sure it was good. Uh, let's go ahead and take some more upgrades. Fantastic. Uh, do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whisper. You listen. He slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of metal bars sliding across it. Oh, interesting. Let's go to the dry dock. Uh, let us go to the rods. Let's pop in a fabric. I don't think I need the fabric for anything else, so let's go ahead and add it to something else here. Sure, let's do the nets. I'm not even quite sure if we need the nets right now, but that'll be cool. She pulls a book from the toolbox nearby and hands it to you. Very cool, we just got a new book. Uh, that's fantastic. Now, there isn't anything else I can do right at the moment, but let's go and check out that book. Uh, correct engine operations. Nice. That'll maybe make us move faster? Hopefully. Now we have our two research points. What do we want to do? We could do the oceanic, um, or let's see, the mangrove and the coastal, the volcanic and shallow, uh, the coastal, shallow, mangrove, and wow, the abyssal, um, the oceanic. What is that anyways? Uh, and wow, that's an incredible one. I'm thinking of doing the oceanic. Let's go ahead and do that. And then let's start on, we really do need to get up to that one. So let's just go ahead. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's see if we can research a better engine, an improved motor. Yes, please. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> a jet drive engine. Oh, that would be fantastic. And what is this? A hovercraft? No way, or, or speedboat or something. That looks super cool. Uh, very cool. Pots, nets. We can't do nets yet, but pots, we can definitely get some upgrades. Oh, wow. There's so much to this game. It is super, super cool what is in this game. We're going to go ahead and get a better engine because I am worried about not being able to navigate well at nighttime. Um, speaking of nighttime, well, let's go ahead and rest, I suppose. All right, let's see how fast we are. Oh, we are so much faster. Oh, and we've gotten a fantastic uh, crab. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and fish. And we've got another crab. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I take it? Okay, good. Let's head off this direction a little bit. 
Now I can go here and let's do these guys. We're gonna go and check out this uh, bottle. Let's see what it says. All right, add it to the cabin. We've got a bottle. Uh, messages. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, <laughs> our first day proper today. We're sailing around the islands. Uh, so it looks like some sort of storyline. It even looks like they're just talking about where they're sailing. Maybe we can piece together some sort of story with that at a later date. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can fish out this group right here. Let's go to the trader. Um, did you find anything? Yes, I did. I found this ring and it is worth, uh, looks like it's worth 15 bucks. Sweet. Uh, let's go over and let's kind of, I don't know, I think we'll go back and uh, we'll sell some of that stuff because we've got a rather large amount of those crabs there and there's really not a lot else we can do. We've got to go get these crates repaired as well. So let's go do that. Fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to sell to the fishmonger right now. That's a bit of a bummer. I guess in storage, we're going to have to put these crates for now, maybe? Or actually, no. Let's go ahead and pop these crabs in storage. You know, guys, I don't really know what to do at this point because um, I really need to try and uh, fish more. I need to sell these off. So I guess we're going to be headed down uh, wind a little bit and let's see if we can find another place to sell to. There's that big island over there. I guess, I suppose we can head toward that island and see if that's got what we uh, what we can sell to. Oh, I found a shipwreck. A one strong wooden hull lays broken against the shoreline. Try to get inside the stern. You'll pull a bit closer. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh, why can't I sell? Okay, we're gonna have to take this stuff, of course. So um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna discard. I don't know. Let's see. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. We will pop that. Pop pop that pop. Z to discard. All right, discard the crab. Uh, let's grab that and let's grab that. There we go. Okay, you know, I was hoping over here that there would be a town that we'd be able to stop at, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, we're going to have to go back because I am not prepared for being out this deep in the water um, without any sort of like, you know, that's pretty wavy over there. I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, please get back. <laughs> I do want to try to fish this spot, see if we can catch a, a unique fish. If I have the space for it, I, I don't even have the space for it. That's a bummer. Um, but we are just going to go back. Oh, there's that there's that boat again, which is actually an angler fish. Uh, we're going to steer clear of him for sure. But I do need to go over to that uh, glowing spot at some point. Let's go check the fishmonger. Hey! Uh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all the fish. Uh, and I'm thinking of selling one of these crab pots back to him. Uh, because honestly, I, I just don't see that I'm going to be using it a ton. Oh, guys, I think we're able to use the dry dock to actually get what we want. The fishing rod. Yes. Or excuse me, the fishing spots. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. We get two more rod spaces. Oh, fantastic. Let's check it out. Uh, right there, there it is. The two more rod spaces. That's awesome. We'll be able to add more rods in and we'll be able to do a lot more. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is I need to get up enough money so that I can sell, uh, excuse me, so that I can buy the Oceanic Reel that's going to be fantastic, but that is going to have to wait till the next episode. Thank you for joining me on another adventure of Dredge. Super fun. I'm having a blast with it. There's just so much to do, and I hope you guys will continue to join with me on the adventure, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Later.